Hey guys, Rambling Bob here again with another product. This is a, a Pecron 100 watts foldable solar panel. It's pretty nice to keep in the trunk of your car. It weighs about, uh, I'd say about 10 or 15 pounds, somewhere in between there. It's very, it gets down very small. Um, let's see, let's start on this side. It has a zipper pouch that it, what's, it's made out of like a, a almost a very heavy burlapy feel. It's a very, very good quality. I was very surprised. The stitching is very good. The handle is very solid. I was very surprised when I got this. Pecron sent this to me uh, when we bought the whole system. I just didn't do a review on it because I forgot about it. We have only used it probably about two or three times because we have so many solar panels now that are permanent. Uh, but for ca like camping or traveling, this would be neat to throw something small or a few of these in the trunk. And that way you can have that power when you really need it. Like if you're fishing or something and you want to get a little bit more power in and you, you know you're in the middle of nowhere, you pop that up for a few hours and you know on a solar day you could get up to, up to, up to up to about 500 watts a day in solar off one panel. A uh, solar day is about five hours. You do get a little bit before that and after that, but typically a uh, solar day is about five five hours, which is uh, uh, 10 to 10 to three or 11 to four depending on where you are. Um, but let me show you the inside. So the zipper is definitely not waterproof. I would say I-65. Uh, it doesn't have a nice um, covering like the other panels do, um, but it still serves its purpose because most of the time you're going to have your panel like this anyway. So for water to get underneath the bottom, it, it's, it's pretty rare. It has to be moisture pretty much. Like I wouldn't leave it out overnight because that, that morning dew from the grass would kind of get on here. Um, you can, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, so in, inside the little pouch you have here, um, it comes with about a three foot cable with MC4s on it. That's my favorite, that's my choice, MC4s. Um, matter of fact, no, I apologize. It didn't come with MC4s, I modded it. It came with a barrel, that's right. It came with a barrel and I clipped it and I put MC4s on there. I forgot I did that until I saw the little, the little cut job I did. I didn't do so good on the cut job on the insulation. But uh, I pulled the wires apart, you put the... MC4 on either side and then you could run this into the Pecron. Uh, this is made for with the barrel it was made to go in the top port of the Pecron uh, E2000 LFP because they have that barrel input. So I modded that and I made it MC4. Everything I own now is MC4. I used to do the Anderson power pole. I, I just I don't care for it. A lot of people do. I like these because they're watertight. These are literally waterproof. Um, it would take a lot of uh, a lot of uh, pressure to get water inside one of these little ports. Um, the only way in is obviously here, which is the input ports, but normally when you have that connected to something that seals that up with that little, see that little rubber uh, grommet seal thing there, the little washer. So a very, very good connection. That's, that's why they're uh, industry standard now is because of things like that. It's just, it's a good connection. A little hard to get apart with your fingers, but they make a little plastic tool you pop in there and then you, you know, you pop them apart. Um, and then, uh, so that's hardwired in, uh, the barrel. Unless you want to mod it, you're going to have that, I think it's 5521 or a 5525 barrel on it. Uh, it does come with this, and this is a, uh, three USBs, two dinosaurs, which are the two, I think the two amps, and then you have the 18 watt quick charge uh, USB-A. So you have three USB-A's, one's a quick charge. You can see by the color of it, it's, uh, it's different than the rest. It's easy to spot which one is more. Uh, has a little green light, so it tells you if they're strong enough to, you know, plug your phone in or you're wasting your time right away when the sun hits it. So I, I think overall, I think it's a very well-made uh, well product as far as the, uh, the quality of the, uh, uh, the fabric that they use. It's, it's really nice. And the, the, the other thing I really like about this one compared to the other one is this. Notice how big the legs are on this one. Very, very strong. So like, uh, I think it's like, what, about four? That's about four, maybe five inches wide. It's a good uh, stand compared to the other ones. It has the elastic so you can put any, you know, uh, any angle that you wish. But uh, I wish it had like a tightener here, but uh, it does stay up in the grass fine or the concrete because this is a plastic t table in the workshop, so it's a little bit more slippery here. Um, but very, very nice legs, very good quality on this. And they have Velcro on the bottom, so you just kind of poke it like that when you're done, and then, uh, um, you know, you can pack it away. What it looks like when it's fully open is it has these little press button things, okay? So there's no Velcro on the front. You have an actual tightening clamp, which, that's nice. It's nice. That way it can't accidentally fall open or anything. Um, not that it would. These are your power ratings here. Uh, you got uh, uh, efficiency is 21%. Uh, the power voltage nominally is 18 volts. 
the open circuit is 21.6. So if you put two of these together and do the mod like I did, you can run this right into the Pecoron and get 200 watts of foldable solar panels into one of the main inputs uh, rather than daisy chain them. And then you only get 100 watts because that port only allows 100 watts at 5.5 amps. So uh, rated temperature is negative 10 to uh, 65 degrees Celsius. So uh, that's year round. Um, I wouldn't leave it out in the weather though. Unless you had to, if you really had to, but I, I, I wouldn't and I don't. Um, this is what the panel looks like. It's three, three big panels as opposed to the other ones. Sometimes they're four or five. They have like a blue, bluish black tint to them, depending on how you look at them. Uh, I do like that it's smaller than, uh, like it's not as long. I think this is probably just about four feet with the flap. Now the flap you're not going to use. It's going to be like this, of course. So that's just under four feet. Um, you figure that's probably 18, 18, 18 inches. So it's, it's just, yeah, j just about four feet. Um, it has the grommets. You can hold on real tight and notice the grommets are nice and big on this one. I like that. So you can hang it from, uh, the wall, the fence, the van, wherever you want to hang it for a temporary time being. But, uh, I think it's a very good panel. The, the most Watts that we got out of this one is about 80, 80 Watts out of a hundred. Now in solar panels, uh, I, I don't think that's bad at all. Uh, the problem with solar panels is unless you live in a laboratory, you basically, you know, get the 60 to, uh, I, to be fair, I think it's like 60 to, uh, I would say 90, 90% usually on a solar panel. Um, like I said, unless you live in a, a, a laboratory with perfect sun and no squirrels and no clouds and no fog and rain and, you know, just the whole nine yards, you're going to probably get uh, 60 to 90 percent is average for what I've seen on solar panels, but it's a nice little panel It's very small. It's very light so you can like literally hold it with one finger um, It'd be nice to keep in the trunk of your car if you ever needed one it doesn't take up much space And it's very flat so you put it up against the wall and keep it out of the way. I hang it on the wall in my shop um, This one hasn't seen much Sun. Uh, I did take it out a few times just for a test and uh, That was about it, but uh, overall a little, a little pricey but the quality of the uh, material that they used, I, I like a lot. I like these actual lock straps um, without the Velcro on the outside. I like the handles, very, very sturdy. It's light, so if you had four of these and you put them in your hand, you could easily carry four of those. It's about 40 pounds. Um, I can anyway, I don't know what your lifting uh, weight is for your limit, but uh, 40 pounds isn't too bad. I figured the system weighs 50 pounds, so if you can carry the system, you can definitely carry four of these and then you can mod them like I did and series them together and then put two on one side and two on the other side and you'd have 400 watts uh, up to up to 400 watts of solar coming in all day which is probably about 360 uh, using my average of 80 80 watts is what I got but uh, not bad for a little tiny thing a little pricey but not bad I think the quality is there um, thumbs up Pecron I, I think this one's okay a little bit pricey but I, I like it if you guys can wait for a sale on this I think it'll be worth it but uh, yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's definitely better than some of the other ones I tested. All right, guys, travel safe, and I'll see you again.